Hey YouTubers, this is Francis. Uh, it's a Tuesday afternoon. And uh, <clears throat> anyways, I went out early. I fasted overnight. And I was really hungry this morning. So uh, I got on an early bus and went to a uh, <clears throat> place called Quest Diagnostics. They have several all around the Jacksonville area. But uh, anyways, there's one about half a mile from uh, a bus line I ride. So I went there this morning. And then very hungry because I fasted mostly yesterday. And I didn't eat much on Monday yesterday. And uh, so anyways. So <clears throat> anyways, I got my blood. They took three tubes and... You know, they, I, I'm a diabetic, so they're going to be checking my blood sugar and then uh, my testosterone level. So uh, I don't know. The, the other thing that was marked was COMP, C-O-M-P, so I really don't know what the hell that means. But anyways, you know, these forms, they have all these little, the hundred, you know, maybe a hundred different tests they can, they can run, you know, so anyway. So the blood sample was given this morning while I was fasting over 12 hours. That's done. Okay, so I have a doctor's appointment next week. And I'm going to have a good talk with my doctor. And I'm hoping that, like, I can maybe get some patches. <laughs> I don't know. So we're just going to have to see, okay? But, um... Anyways, uh, do, 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 do. Uh, I, I know uh, some people, listen, I'm a very peaceful, loving person. I have never killed anybody, never want to have to kill somebody. But if I'm attacked, I will defend myself. I am not a pacifist and I'm not going to lay down and just die. Okay, I'm not going to do that. Okay, so, uh, you know, if my life is threatened and I have the means to resist, I will. Okay, now if the authorities come and arrest me for whatever and put me in jail and charge me with something, well, I'll go to trial. I'll, I'm not going to resist arrest. But if some wacko attacks me, I'm going to defend myself. Okay. So, I mean, that's the point I was trying to make. You know, uh, I haven't heard anything about people, kids and women, getting their heads chopped off and stuck on a spike on a fence since uh, when I was in high school. I took world history. And the Assyrians used to do that, like, you know, 600 B.C. That's like, what, 2,600 years ago? So, uh, you know, I don't know if they, anybody's been doing it since then. Probably. Maybe the Romans did it, too, 2,000 years ago. I don't know. But, you know, we, we just, you know, if, if you could just sit idly by while your uh, Christian brothers and sisters are getting executed and slaughtered like, like sheep over there because of these murderous bastards, well... Good. Someday they're going to be coming for you. And uh, what are you going to do? So I think it's time for the United States of America to protect people. The Kurdish people over there up in northern Iraq have been nothing but supportive to uh, Americans. They had a nice de democratic society. They were actually living in a totally separate section of Iraq. And those are the people that are being attacked by the, these uh, ISIL or whatever, ISIS, ISIL, whatever you call them, fanatics. They're terrorists, you know. They just uh, believe in genocide. And they're just going around killing people. So, you know, I know some people took offense about me calling uh, the God of Islam, a false God. Well, you know, I have my beliefs based on the Bible. And in my Bible, it says there's only one God. 
and one of his names is in Iowa. Okay, so all right, there's just one true and living God, and you know you have every right to disagree with me, and I will not. Uh, I'm tolerant. You can believe whatever you want to believe, but don't try to cram your religion down my throat and or say convert to what you believe or you're going to chop my head off okay that doesn't work okay I mean, that isn't right so so uh you know, i'm not going to mention any names but some some of you people uh I, i'm a lot older than you i served my country for six years during the cold war and uh you know some of the same things like that were going on in during World War II seem to be like happening all over again okay so um, it seems like as much as I deplore violence you know some people in this world just you can't reason with them okay all they want to do is kill you no argument okay they you either conform to their our religious beliefs they want to take over the world and if you don't agree with them they're just gonna like two in a hat you're dead they don't care about your rights you know so wake up you know we're either gonna like uh, all be killed or we're gonna do something to stop these people before they this thing spreads and gets out of hand so you know you know, I, I, I look on uh, Facebook and uh, Google, and there's all kinds of things getting posted about things that have happened in the past and blaming the fingers this way. You know, I honestly think that some of the presidents in the past, you know, maybe they made a lot of mistakes, but they would do it. I believe they, they were looking out for the best interests of the United States of America. So, I mean, everybody, anybody can be a great Monday morning quarterback and say, oh, gee, we shouldn't have done that. Oh, gee, we should have done this over here. But, you know, sometimes things happen and, you know, and you try it one way and it doesn't work, so you try something else. So, you know, I don't have all the answers either, but you know what? Uh... Helpless people starving and uh, dying of thirst on top of a mountain with no place to go and no way out and no means to survive up there. And they're being attacked by these uh, bullies on wheels with weapons and they just want to kill everybody. You going to allow that? I mean, you know, I mean, come on. How can you live with yourself? How can you live with yourself to just stick your head in the sand and pretend that this is not happening? Okay, so, you know, I, I think Obama, you know, I, I heard some good things about Obama. He made a couple good uh, comebacks about why we didn't leave troops in Iraq because uh, uh, the Iraqi government could not ensure their safety. And would not say that they couldn't be taken to law, you know, in Iraq. Okay, so so we pulled our troops out of here. And, and you know, we were there for over 10 years and we trained those Iraqi soldiers and whatever. And then when these uh, ISIL or ISIS people came in, they just dropped their guns and run. Hey, you know, I mean, I don't know, you know. So, something needs to be done, uh, you know, maybe, maybe Iraq is not a place that we can defend or want to use all the, maybe that place needs to be split up into different sections and have all the Sunnis living in one region, the Kurds in another, and then the Shiites in another, okay? I don't know, I mean... I don't know how they're going to be able to make peace over there. You know, I don't have all the answers, but letting people just go around cutting people's heads off is not 
like acceptable to move. Okay, so probably this has gone on hundreds of years ago. We didn't know about it because we didn't have uh, cameras and people to record it on the internet and in the news. I mean, I don't know. So anyways, I'm sorry if I offended some of you people out there, but I have studied the scriptures for uh, over 35 years, and, and I've probably studied half of the New Testament in the original Greek language and looked up the words. I've spent thousands and thousands of hours of research and things. And uh, so I, I don't I don't take my religious faith lightly, and um, I'm already very well persuaded that I believe and practice the truth. So I mean, I invested my whole life in uh, the Christian Church, and I've helped many people. And you know, I'm not just going to walk away. You know, I mean, that's not that's not an option for me. You know, maybe maybe you're young and you have a lot of years ahead of yourself. But, you know, I'm not. You know, I, I really don't have any savings, nothing in the bank. I, I've been living on faith. Since I was 25 years old, I've gone through many jobs, uh, employment situations single parenting. I've done a lot of things with God's help and and I am and I'm really sorry that Robin Williams uh, supposedly committed suicide this weekend last or maybe Sunday night I don't know what night it was just a day or two ago. I can't imagine why he would have done that. I have no idea anything I don't know anything about his private life. You know, I just know him as a comedian, and he starred in a lot of movies I've seen. And he's very entertaining and funny. And I didn't know he had problems with depression and all this stuff. Well, I have problems with depression, too. You know, but uh, I don't think I've, I've never really seriously considered suicide. Okay, so... If, if someday they find my body and it, they say, oh, uh, Francis left a suicide note, or Francis committed suicide. Didn't happen, folks. Okay? I've said this before. They're going to have to execute me because I ain't going to execute myself, all right? So, anyways, just, just to let you know. Okay, so, and, uh, you know, Jesus went all the way to the cross, right? He, he didn't receive or take any painkillers when he got whipped within an inch of his life and his back was all tore up. Then he had to carry his cross up to Golgotha. Then they nailed him to the cross and then he was up there for like three hours baking in the sun. You know, or actually it got dark, you know, but what I'm trying to say is he suffered and died, okay, and uh, so, sorry, you know, I'm following Jesus, so I am not going to be uh, committing suicide, folks, okay, it doesn't matter how bad it gets, I'm not going to do that, okay, so, uh, I don't plan on ever committing suicide. So to me, that would be a denial of my faith. It would be like throwing in the towel and giving up. Okay, not going to happen. Not going to happen. I'm a survivor. And if I do happen to leave this physical body behind someday, it's not going to be by my own hands. Okay. So. Anyways, what a gruesome topic, huh? But I didn't commit suicide two days ago, and I just want to let everybody know that Francis is not the kind of person that would do that to me, 
Okay. So. so if you ever find a suicide note and Francis's body dead, don't believe it. I want a thorough investigation. <laughs> Love you all. Bye.